Dear students, glad to meet you online. From today, we begin lectures on lexicology. The whole we have 22 hours lecture. The first lecture, the theme is lexicology as a science. Lexicology as a science. Now the problems for discussion. Problems for discussion. What problems will you discuss? The first, the object matter of lexicology, types of lexicology, the connection of lexicology with other aspects of the language, the relationships existing between words, diachronic and synchronic approaches in the study of vocabulary of the language, the methods of linguistic research used in lexicology, subdivision of lexicology, and we have conclusion. What words, what keywords? Lexicology, property, Greek word, general lexicology, special lexicology, descriptive lexicology, historical lexicology, comparative lexicology, synchronic, diachronic, communication, syntagmatic, paradigmatic, relationship, etymology, phraseology, Semasiology, lexicography, word formation, distributional, transformational, and immediate constituents. Use literature on the first lecture. The first, Irve Arnold, the English word, Moscow, 1973. The second, R.S. Ginsburg, a course in modern English lexicology, Moscow, 1979. The third, M. M. Shansky, Lexicologia Sauremenova Ruskova Yazika, Moscow, 72 год. A. E. Smerlitsky, Lexicologia Sauremenova Anglicova Yazika, Moscow, 1956. Varno, E. M. E. Drugie, Lexicologia Sauremenova Anglicova Yazika, Leningrad, 81 год. And the last literature is Gag, V. G. Сопоставительная лексикология Москва, 1977. So, lexicology is a branch of linguistics which studies the vocabulary of the language. Its basic task is to, to study the origin, the different properties of the vocabulary of a language. In other words, lexicology is concerned with words and set phrases which function in speech. Lexicology also studies all kinds of semantic relations as synonyms, antonyms, polysemantic words and semantic grouping or semantic fields. Etymologically, the word lexicology is a Greek word. Lexis means word and logos means learning. So, Lexicology is a science of word. There are five types of lexicology. The first, general lexicology, special lexicology, descriptive lexicology, comparative lexicology, and historical lexicology. Now, I'll explain each of them. The first, general lexicology. General lexicology is a part of general linguistics which studies the general properties of words, the specific features of words of any particular language. It studies the peculiarities of words common to all the languages. General lexicology attempts to find out the universals of vocabulary, development and patterns, linguistic phenomena and properties common to all languages, are generally called language universals. The second, special lexicology. Special lexicology deals with the words of a definite language. For example, English lexicology, Russian lexicology, Uzbek lexicology, French lexicology, German, Italian, and etc. so forth. Descriptive lexicology studies the words of the Synchronic aspect. It is concerned with the vocabulary of a language 
as they exist at the present time. The next one, historical, or we may say it is a diachronic lexicology, deals with the development of the vocabulary and the changes. It has undergone, example, in description of lexicology, the word, for example, to take or to adopt, one considered as being English, not different from such native words as child, food, and stone. But in historical lexicology, they are treated as borrowed words. Comparative lexicology deals with the properties of the vocabulary of two or more languages. In comparative lexicology, the main characteristic features of the words of two or more languages are compared. For example, Uzbek English lexicology, Russian English lexicology, or English Russian or English Uzbek lexicology. Lexicology is concerned with the other aspects of the language. That is, is connected with other aspects of the language, such as grammar, phonetics, stylistics, and history of the language. Like the Lexicology is connected with grammar because the word seldom occurs in isolation. Words alone don't form communication. It is only when words are connected and joined by the grammar rules of a language communication becomes possible. On the other hand, grammatical form and function of the word effect of the lexical meaning. For example, the verb to go in the continuous tenses is followed by to and infinitive it expresses a future action. For example, he is not going to read this book. Parts of two of the verb go, following the link verb to be, denotes the negative meaning. For example, the house is gone. So that the lexical meaning of the words are grammatical condition. Lexicology is linked with phonetics because the order and the arrangement of the phonemes are related to its meaning. For example, the word tip, and pit consists of the same phonemes, and it is the arrangement of phonemes alone which determines the meaning of the words. The arrangement of phonemes in the words increase and increase is the same. Only stress determines the difference in meaning. For example, the word present and the word present. Lexicology is closely linked with the history of the language. In examining the word information in the terms of its historical development, we establish that it is the French origin and study the change in its semantic and morphological structures. If we don't know the history of the language, it will be very difficult to establish different changes in the meaning and form of the words which have undergone in the course of historical development of the language. There is also a close relationship between lexicology and stylistics. The word to begin and to commence mean one and the same meaning, boshamok, but they can never be used interchangeably because they have different stylistic references. The relationship existing between words may be either syntagmatic and paradigmatic. The syntagmatic relationship is found in the context. The context is the minimum stretch of speech which is necessary to bring out the meaning of a word. For example, the word take tea, for example, choi ichmok, pi chai, Take a train, tramway, get schmuck, tramway, the yurmok. The paradigmatic relationship is the relations between words within the vocabulary, polysemy, synonym, antonym of words. There are two approaches to the study of the vocabulary of the language. The first, diachronical and synchronical. And synchronically. 
Diachronic and synchronic. Synchronic approach deals with the vocabulary as it exists at a given time, at a present time. And the diachronic approach studies the changing and the development of vocabulary in the course of time. Synchronically, the word to help except the word procedure are the words are English words. But diachronically, they came from different languages. Such words are childhood, kingdom, friendship, freedom, were at one time compound words. But the suffixes dom, hood, ship, independent words. But synchronically, they are derived words because dom and hood and ship become, became suffixes. In the 19th century and at the beginning of the 20th century, lexicology was mainly based on historical principles. At the present time, the following method of linguistic research are widely used by lexicologists. For example, distributional, transformational, analysis into immediate constitution, statistical, component, componential, and comparative. Lexicology has some subdivisions. For example, for example, etymology, semasiology, word formation, uh, phraseology, uh, that is etymology uh, twice, etymology that is, uh, Semasiology deals with the meaning of the words. That is, semasiology studies the meaning of the words. That is, this is word formation. Word formation studies all possible ways of the formation of new words in English, uh, English words. Etymology studies the origin of the words. That is, all the words, uh, where uh, does this word come? That is here, uh, studies etymology. Phraseology studies set expressions and phraseological units. And lexicography studies compiling dictionaries. We have uh, such kind of words, that is, we have all kinds of dictionaries you know, English, Russian, English, Uzbek dictionaries, English, Russian, Uzbek dictionaries, Oxford dictionary, short dictionary, and we have it as Webster dictionary, and it's a so forth. That is all these uh, uh, dictionaries studies in the field of uh, lexicography. Comparative study of different peculiarities of English words with the words of the other languages shows that there are various symptoms of the contrast between English and other languages. Well, it is the end in short the first lexicology is a science. The Skagna, Brinchy Mouse Buicha, Mana Material Larns, Yitkazdam, Ulgurgam was a Sios Olgam Bushi Giskirak, Bulmasem was a video Tasvarne, Snap Telegram Zayana, Tashayos. Any questions to me? I got a Saulan in Bulsa, Ishtaman. I got a Saulan Bulmasa, Skagna, Fan Buicha. Recommended literature. Yani fan yuzasından kaysa adayotan biz foydalanamız. Şular bu içe mazaya kıska gina bir yozur ama fikirlerini yozur orasılar. Ben buryam ilacı buysa alıgı olup cilerime taşıya mısınlar. Recommended literature on this subject. Çünkü bugün birinci deyik sevgili gönlendeki üçün adayotan ruhu katılıyam sizler oruçların kerak. The first Eve Arnold. Eksikologi savrimenna ve angliska ve yazika. Moscow, 1882. The second literature, Eve Arnold, the English word, Moscow, 1973. The third, R.S. Ginsburg, and other lexicology, English language, Moscow, 1979. S.S. Hidekel, and other English lexicology, in terms of development, Leningrad. 1969. Jamal Buranov, Sravnitelnaya Tipologia, Angliskova i Tureskih Jezikov, Moskva, 83. 
В.В. Виноградов. Словообразование и его отношение к грамматике и лексикологии. Вопросы теории и истории языка. Москва, Академия наук, 52 год. Мешков О.Д. Словообразование современного английского языка. Москва, 76 год. П.М. Карашу. Словообразование английского языка. Москва, Высшая школа, 77 год. П.М. Карашу. Официальные словообразования в английском языке. Москва, 65 год. Т. И. Арбекова. Лексикология английского языка. Москва, 77 год. Медникова Е. М. Семинарс и English Лексикология. Москва, 1979. В. В. Виноградов. Лексикология и лексикография. Москва, наука, 77 год. А. И. Смирницкий. Значение слова «Высшая школа», «Введение языка знаний», 55-й год, номер 2 «Варно», «ЕМ» и другие. Лексикология английского языка, Лелинград, Найнтин и Иван. Джамал Буранов и Муминов, «A practical course in English lexicology», Тошкент, Уктуче, Найнтин, Найнтин. These literature be used On this subject, on the subject of lexicology. The lexicology of the language is a similar way of learning the language. Similar way of learning. Naim and Aziza Mohamed Dumna. All of the language. Moodle is a classical. Moodle is a similar way of learning the language. But we are going to learn the language. We are going to learn the language. Қысқағыда бүгінге, сіздер үшін бүгін яңге фан бүгін екі сөйлі бөтше, бірінші мағызығы қысқаша мағызығын үшіндер емі ғалымын. Әгер сауылдар бөтсе мағымар, еңізі болса жанмайды, бұралар еңі фікірі бөтсе фікірлер еңі айтылар 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 еңі Жүзді кәмчілік кіргенсілер бүгін. Бітті патологдан 25-26 кіші жүзді кәм бұл. Декен ман бұны ғазыр видеоға олып, ізатке айтып, сәгер видеосы тәжілдіп алмасын. Түшінарлы мән? Бұр мұса олдар? Фікірләрі білдіріңдер, мұрасығаларын білдіріңдер, бұрындарын. Рахмат, Домлот. Аға. Рахмат, тамам, рахматтан бұлды мән? Бұл тұстаған рахмат, деба қолген дарстадың үшіндай зұм орқары болдырша, біз лексадан дауым етірамыз, лекен мұдылге, қаммасы құйылген, мұдыл орқалы, деба, мұақ бұрасылар, кіріп, қойдан бұрасылар. Агар сауылларың бұлмасы, тұшынарлы бұған бұйса, слайдларына қаммасы арбатаман үшін қашатылысыла қоласылар, үшін слайдлар бойыша кен Құдушу бүйдің тәкен мұдылда бұр мұсы? Мұдылда бұр. Мұдылда бұр. Мұдылда бұр. Мұдылда бұр. Мұдылда бұр. Мұдылда бұр. Құшы мұдылда күрт қалмасын сілігі болдан берәділер. Бұй мұл ұсап өдер арасын. Сауыллар бұй маса етіп олар үшін рахмат. Маруғалық қысқайын түйдамын. Сау бүлігі. Сау бүлігі. Сау бүлігі. Сау бүлігі.